G'day, Dylan from the Byron Bay Observatory here. Uh, I just wanted to have a quick chat about brands, uh, astronomy brands, telescope brands, camera brands, because I ran an interesting poll on Twitter just yesterday and the day before actually. Uh, and the first question I asked was, which of these four popular telescope brands is your favorite? Skywatcher, Celestron, Mead and Explore Scientific, which Google seemed to think were the four major players. But obviously only two of those are major players. Mead has sort of really nosedived since their peak popularity back in the 80s, 90s. Um, I don't know much about Explore Scientific at all. People in the comments sounded off um, huge support for William Optics and of course the uh, Takahashi snobs as well had to chime in. Uh, Celestron was the clear winner at 51% with Skywatcher coming second with 37%. That's really telling. I, I don't use Skywatcher stuff for optics, but I use their mounts and, and I love their mounts. And actually no regrets in using both the Star Adventurer and the EQ8 RH Pro in the observatory. Fantastic stuff. But Celestron and Mead used to be the two main players and now it's Celestron Skywatcher. Is it a monopoly? You know, there's the unspoken open secret that all of this stuff comes from the same manufacturer the same factories in China but they serve these global markets for our hobby so it really doesn't matter who wins the Skywatcher Celestron race but on the camera front I asked what popular brand of astronomical <laughs> why is this such a tongue twister what popular brand of astronomical camera would you choose today for deep space planets ZWO, QHY, Attic and Altair uh, again really only two major players in that list, ZWO and QHY. But this vote, same number of uh, results, about over 300 uh, people replied to the poll, ZWO got 78% of the vote. Now, ZWO were a small company when I started in this hobby. They really weren't even on this. Everyone was using QHY, S Big and Attic. And I've got to say, as a company, ZWO is on fire. Uh, when I compare their range of products to um, other camera manufacturers, ZWO have really transitioned from just being a camera company into being almost a software company because C-Star and the cameras and the ASIR, this, all the hardware is sort of incidental. It's the software that's really driving everything and the integration between all the parts. When I looked at their presentation at NEIF, it got me thinking, NEIF this year, it got me thinking that ZWO seem to be the only company that are rapidly innovating in the space. I might not agree with all the stuff they're doing. I'm not an ASI Air user myself. I don't know if there's any wisdom in integrating the ASI Air into a camera like they've done, but we're seeing these dual chip cameras, we're seeing the ASI Air integrations, we're seeing automatic telescopes, whereas all the other automatic telescope brands are just automatic telescope brands. They're not camera companies and software companies and telescope companies and mount companies. ZWO has really transitioned from being a camera company into a complete astronomy brand. And this has happened really recently. So credit to Sam Wen. Um, the decisions they've made have really paid off for them. And even though in my last video I was saying that the automatic telescope sort of thing isn't for me, um, I wasn't like attacking Seastar or anything like that, but I'd had hordes of comments from angry Seastar fans. It, it is it's like a pissed in their cornflakes or something. <laughs> Trust me, I, d I don't mind if you uh, if you guys love your sea star, that's great. And, and I'm sure this space is gonna get better and better and better over time. There has developed uh, a really good brand loyalty for ZWO. And more than one comment actually said, I like the red. <laughs> and I get it. I, the aesthetic is, especially when you're kidding out a, a whole uh, astronomy rig, uh, it's nice to have everything matchy matchy doesn't make a difference. I don't go out in the observatory, but it's like a pride parade in there. Celestron orange, the white pearl Celestron, the black of the Skywatcher, the purple of the QHY, which I love, and the red of the ZWO stuff. Yeah, it's pretty colorful. And I like being able to use a bit of it, anything really. I do remember early on when I was a beginner, I was like, I really want everything to be white. 
And then I got a black telescope and I'm like, oh man, now I need to change everything to black. But it does seem like uh, some people like the cool factor of the red and it is a cool color. There's some, there's some weird ad running. What the, what is this? That was meant to be a ZWO background. I'm sorry if um, I've just accidentally broadcast ads. Yeah, but uh, I do have to say ZWO is not without its controversy. There have been manufacturing controversies in the past with um, the fans uh, shaking and vibrating the whole image train, which was then causing people's images to be blurry when it was cooled. There was reflection gate where the, uh, the coatings weren't right and people were getting square reflections all over their stuff. But I think that is a symptom of a company that is rapidly iterating and rapidly innovating. And it does seem, especially in this space, that Every year we have a new sensor, new camera, new features. Um, I do prefer the build quality of the QHY. They have had less of those sorts of controversies over time. Um, they're not without their controversies as well and, and mistakes along the way, but generally I've found them really solid. However, I have used a lot of ZWO and still continue to use a lot of ZWO gear as well. And I can't fault them for that rapid iteration because that is something which is driving them internally and it's this ability to make new decisions and new choices and new ideas and try them and see which one flies and so I'm glad that ZWO is in this space and I love to see that innovation. What I have to compare it to myself is in the guitar world there are obviously Fender and Gibson the two main status quo brands and the problem that they have is they're so locked in to this old customer base of rich people who like to play guitars. They are victims of their own success in that they cannot innovate anymore. If they try and change the Gibson Les Paul design or the Fender Stratocaster or Telecaster design, people freak out. They don't have the bravery to do new things on a guitar, which smaller companies can then do and capture that market. And ZWO feels like one of those smaller companies who's just done a lot of cool stuff recently and uh, are really testing to see where it can go. So I'm really excited to see what happens with ZWO as a company and, and Skywatcher and all the new innovations that we have in astronomy right now, including the strain wave mounts and the and camera features that were considered professional. You know, you'd spend 10 grand on a camera back in the day to get a dual chip, and now this is coming down to the consumer level. It's really fantastic. What I would like to see from any camera brand is this idea of active optics, but I might do a video on that separately. But nobody talks about it anymore. And the other thing with ZWO is that their original website was astronomy-imaging-camera.com which is the most early 2000s SEO website domain name you could have. I'm sure it's a good domain name and I'm sure they get some SEO traffic from it. Astronomy Imaging Camera doesn't really summarize them as a company at all. So now they have zwoastro.com, which is a little bit more all encompassing for their, their whole offering between mounts, telescopes, adapters, software, automatic telescopes, cameras. And QHY has the similar issue in that they're company is literally called QHY CCD. So that sort of locks you into just doing one thing, CCD cameras. And, and CCD cameras is not where the market is anymore. Such a great company to work with. I've never had any problems with their customer service. And I get mixed reviews from the community for both companies. So there are people that will never use ZWO ever again because of the customer service. And there are people who love ZWO's customer service and vice versa for QHY. So Courses for courses, everyone has their experiences and vendors have their experiences with the brands. I'm not sure about the business side of things, like how ZWO positions its brands with vendors or anything like that. Um, I'm just a user, so all I can say is I've used both cameras, ZWO and QHY, and they both work great. Anyway, let me know what you think. Why does ZWO have such a near monopoly on the popularity of camera sales right now? And what can other camera brands do to catch up to what ZWO is doing? And if we go down this route of one brand being the brand, and is that a bad thing? Or as long as it's ASCOM compliant, we can still use their gear with other stuff as well. I don't know. I don't have the answers, but it will be interesting to see where it goes. Anyway, I've got a new video coming soon. I'm just waiting on um, a sponsor to approve 
what I've done. <laughs> I haven't offended anyone, hopefully. And I've got a really great new photo to show you as well. So more from the Byron Bay Observatory shortly. But that's it. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you've been watching Star Stuff. And remember, everything is meaningless and we're all going to die. <music>a moment to talk to you about this channel cringe mid my kids don't respect me they won't respect me until i reach a hundred thousand subscribes on this channel and get the silver play button so please like and subscribe i stepped up i stepped up i smiled